Good morning. We're getting supper started early on this Friday morning, y'all. We're gonna be making grandpa's beef stew. So I'm gonna get it started in the slow cooker. This is really quick. I'll have this in here ready to go before the kids even get in here for school this morning. So we've already got it sprayed and we're just gonna dump in this beef stew meat. It's already pre-cut, ready to go. Now we're gonna put in some potatoes. I have some more of those little baby potatoes, the purple ones, and I'm gonna cut some of them. Uh, the really little ones, I'm just gonna put in there whole, but the bigger ones, I'm gonna cut in half. Now we're gonna put in some baby carrots and we're just gonna leave these whole, but you can chop them if you want to, of course. We like big pieces of carrots in ours. And we would put some onions in here, but I am still out of onions and I've used up all my onions from the freezer. So we're gonna have to skip the onions this time. That's fine though, because the seasoning that we're using has lots of flavor. It's the Kinder's Grandpa's Beef Stew. We'll go ahead and mix this up. I do have a little bit more of the stew meat and I'm gonna put a little more vegetables than it calls for. So I just have the one packet, but I'm gonna add a little extra tomato paste and just a little bit extra water. You can use beef broth instead of water too. Either one of those will work. Now we just pour this all over the top and cover it and it's gonna cook on low for eight hours. See if we have any Easter egg or eggs, Manny. Excuse me, ladies. We got a green one today. This is so exciting, Roosty. Look at all these leaves and acorns. I'm waiting every day for a cucumber to happen over here. Make a cucumber and grab it. With those? Oh, well if you do that, let me know, cause that's gonna be amazing. Yeah, but they always fly away. Lots of indications that we will get some cucumbers Stop. soon, but nothing yet. What about our beans over here? Looking pretty good. I really need to come out here and clean all this up. But I'm not sure if I'm feeling that today or not. I'll tell where I left it. <laughs> what are you doing with that? I'm um, digging holes everywhere. Hmm. That what it's for? Yeah, because I wanted you to grow little baby trees, then they will grow up. Yeah. All right, y'all, and just like that, beef stew is done. We're just gonna give it a little stir over here. All right, we'll just let that stay on warm while I make some cornbread. I think I'm gonna make cornbread muffins tonight and I'm gonna do some spicy ones and some not spicy because I really want a spicy one. I think I'll do a cheesy spicy. Yeah, cheesy spicy. Oh no, I think I froze this. Is it frozen? No, oh yeah, it's a little frozen. Let me get a different one. I hate when that happens. It wasn't even in the back of the refrigerator. I'm not sure why it froze up on me. I already have the oven preheated to 350. Are pumpkin muffins your favorite muffin? Hey Jonah, do you want spicy cornbread or not spicy? Jake, do you want spicy or not spicy? Okay, okay, Sissy said she wants cheese in hers but not the pepper, so I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese in this one for her. We'll stir it around. 
So we'll put some peppers in here and some cheese. Okay, y'all, we finished eating. We have guests rolling in. It's Tyler. <laughs> we finished eating, got the kitchen cleaned up. Grandpa's beef stew was great. Now, we're gonna make some autumn fudge bars. I've never made fudge like this before. We're gonna use a cake mix. I have made fudge using sweetened condensed milk and a few other things, but never with a cake mix. We're about to give this a try. Well, we don't need the whole cake mix. We actually just need half a cup. I already got Mr. Man ready for bed back there. He's ready for movie night, right? Mm, these are good snot. What? What? I did those snot thingies. <laughs> Why are you calling them snot thingies? Oh, <laughs> because they're gray, see? They're gray? Yeah. They're peanut butter chips. We need them for the peanut butter fudge part. Peanut butter chips. There's no snot involved, thankfully. That was interesting. So yeah, we only need half a cup of the cake mix. We need to get two bowls. I have an eight by eight casserole dish here lined with some parchment paper. We're gonna make the mixture in this bigger bowl and then we're gonna divide it in half. Make one chocolate, one peanut butter. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make the chocolate one and the peanut butter one in separate bowls. But if you wanna make it all in one and then divide it, you can do it that way. So we're gonna do a quarter cup in each bowl of the cake mix quarter cup in each one. Now we're gonna divide this can of sweetened condensed milk between each bowl. We mix this together. Now once we get this made, it's gonna go in the refrigerator for just a couple of hours and then it'll be ready to slice. Just in time for the movie night treat. All right, now we're gonna take, we need to do the peanut butter one first. So we're gonna take one cup of these peanut butter baking chips and we're gonna dump them right into this bowl. Stir them in and we're gonna microwave it for one minute to melt the peanut butter chips. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the chocolate chips for this one. We'll stir them in. Chocolate chips overboard. Oh, these are semi-sweet chocolate chips, by the way. Let's see if the peanut butter ones are melted. Oh yeah, I think that's good. I don't think we're gonna have to heat it up anymore. They're all melting in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chocolate one in here. Same thing, one minute. We're gonna pour the peanut butter mixture right in here onto the parchment paper. You gotta spread this quick because it starts setting up pretty fast. All right, there's the peanut butter layer. Now let's stir the chocolate one up here. Make sure it gets all melted down. Now we pour this right on top of the peanut butter layer. And like I said, it starts, it's already trying to set up. So this should just smooth right on top of there. Like they won't try to mix together or anything. Yeah, it starts setting up quick. You gotta work pretty fast with this now. Now, we put our toppings on here. We just have some fall sprinkles. So we'll just sprinkle these all over the top. We're gonna go ahead and put a few, just a few, of the mini semi-sweet chocolate chips on here. And we have Reese's Pieces fall colored beauties right here. We're just gonna put the yellow and orange. Easy autumn fudge right here. There we go, going to the refrigerator. I love these little jars, y'all. I got them from Ingles. The only problem with them is these are not very sturdy. I mean, it was they were pretty cheap. I think it was eight of them for like, I cannot remember how much they were, but they were pretty cheap. 
so <laughs> that's why I got them but yeah these little things are not very sturdy like they pop off a lot and I mean you can easily put them right back on but yeah I mean it seals the stuff up good when they pop on there but yeah they just they're easy to come off a little bit two hours later I did daddy I did fun fudge fun fudge <laughs> fun fudge let's have a little bad let's see how it is Fallon's watching these people up there in the mountains and mm -hmm. showing the leaves. We say the mountains, we, we call it the big mountains. Our little mountains are starting to change a little bit here. You just want a little piece to try? Yeah, I'm gonna need a Reese piece, you don't mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna sample this deal. Some of y'all probably wondering what happened to my finger. A horse about cut my finger off today. Yeah. When the nail goes through and I pull it over, they still have a point on them, and it's razor sharp. And I was shooting a big old stallion, and he snatched his foot back when he did it, just went in there and whacked me real deep. Oh my goodness, that peanut butter one. That's good. I, I think with the chocolate part, I don't, and it's, it's probably because I don't like semi-sweet chocolate, as I don't know, or do what y'all wanna do on that chocolate. Go with semi-sweet or go with milk chocolate. I think milk chocolate would be better. I'm not joking about that peanut butter one, y'all. That is, that's as good as the best peanut butter fudge I've ever had.